Thousand Oaks, California, an affluent suburb outside of Los Angeles. Akira and Lisa were a young married couple when they moved here more than 20 years ago from the Bay Area. While Lisa raised their young family, Akira worked at a popular and trendy Japanese restaurant called Sushiko in the wealthy suburb of Bel Air. In the beginning, I was a sushi chef. Akira learned the art of sushi making in Japan. He was good at his skill, and so we started working at Sushiko in Bel Air, and the restaurant just took off and just became super successful. Come by! My dad was a great chef. He was so excited when he was cooking. Every year, we increased the sales. Then I become a manager, then owner. Yeah, yeah, this is Akira from Sushiko. We decided it was time to venture into our own bigger and better and nicer Sushiko. Hello, welcome to Sushiko. We decided to open our restaurant in this beautiful shopping center in Thousand Oaks. In the beginning, business was booming. Then it just slowed down. Like somebody put the brakes on. It's pretty devastating to him. It broke him. <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. Anybody walking around out there? No, I'm pretty quiet. Even if there's nobody in here, Akira will scramble to find somebody to do a job for him. Anna, could you get the drink order from table one? Your food is up. And that irritates the crap out of me. Make sure you guys have everything, OK? Most of the time now, my dad just kind of walks around. He doesn't like do anything. They're going to turn off the electric. You have to pay that one. We are losing like fifteen to $20,000 a month. Credit card debt is hundreds of thousands, or as deep as you could ever imagine. We still are like 9000 behind. Living with financial stress is pretty bad. Did you send somebody for two or three? I gave it to them. My parents are always like fighting and arguing, and that's a fucking nightmare. <sighs> Never used to be like that. Over the past four years, Akira and I have grown apart. We work together and we live together, but we don't speak to each other. It just isn't worth it. My dad doesn't spend enough time with us. He's just less approachable. Dad. How many order? Just one? I don't really ever talk to him anymore. And Dad. Akira's spirits are broken down, and he just doesn't know what to do anymore. Life has been like hell since we opened the restaurant. If Sushi Ho closed tomorrow, I think we could lose everything. Our house, restaurant, and our hope and our dreams. I can't remember the last time I slept through a night. She's always worried about what's going to happen next. The chef Ryan is our last hope. Hello. Hi, welcome to How Sushi Ho. I'm Lisa. Lisa, nice to see you, darling. Yes. And Akira. Akira. What's the connection? Business partners? 27 my, years. My lovely wife. Are you married to each other? <laughs> yes. And you're the chef. Well, I was. I'm a manager now. I do not cook much anymore. Okay. And Lisa, you run the... I'm kind of the front of the house lady. Greet the guests. Right. Serve tables if needed. What is the problem with Sushi Code? We do not have enough guests. Clearly there's no guests, but what's the problem? The main problem. Which I do not know. You know, we stand in the window and dance trying to get people to come in. Hey, you lift, you come lift, up, on the, in. lift up the blinds. Does that. <laughs> and that, that hasn't worked around here. It hasn't worked. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe she does it in front of Chef Ramsey. So tell me about uh, Sushiko. I had a restaurant in Bel Air. So then you bought out the other partners and bought the name? Pretty much so, yes. And then decided to sort of move Sushiko from Bel Air to your hometown here in yes, Thousand Oaks. Exactly. exactly. So how long did it open here? It's almost four years. Four years. Um, I can't do anything unless I find out what the problems are. So um, I'd like to eat. Uh, what would you recommend? Um, if you want to try something fusion, I have a sushi pizza. Which a what? is sushi pizza. Japanese pizza. I don't I don't yes. like it. Wow. I'm not a big fan of any of our food. There's just like no flavor anymore because Akira is not involved enough in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm gonna yes. sit down and have lunch. I'll look forward to catching up with both of you after lunch. Thank you. I enjoy. Lovely, thank you. Hello. Some strange fixes on the wall. Are you ready? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, right. Let's start with a little bowl of miso. Okay. 
And um, Akira mentioned the sushi pizza. He recommended that? Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. No. No. I would not recommend the sushi pizza to anybody. Uh, I think it's vile. Got to try the sushi pizza. Just out of curiosity. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> um, the Green Tower, that sounds nice. And then let's end up with a little bit of the salmon. Sashimi. I think that'll be enough. You got some of the best mm -hmm. and some of the worst. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Excellent. Some of the best and some of the worst. No one's afraid to share their opinion here. Soup doesn't taste very fresh. It's not actually very hot either. Oh, he's talking now. Somebody should go listen to what he's talking about. Thank you. Chef, your green tower. Thank you. Man, that's very salty, that, does that? It is. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah, that's yeah. normal. Thank you. Thank you. Tower? And it's just, I pulled out this disgusting hair. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely finished with that. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to just die, bury my head in the sand when that happened. Um, guys, there's a hair in the green tower. You gotta be kidding me. It's always like a running joke, like, oh my god, there's a lot of things going wrong. So Akira disappears. Do sashimi. Thank you. You're welcome. And is the salmon fresh? Yes, it is. Thank you. John, the salmon is fresh, right? Frozen. Frozen. Mm. It just tastes... Like it's frozen. How is your sashimi? That's definitely frozen. It's very, very chewy. My mistake, I was just informed. They are frozen. They tasted frozen. Is that normally the way they freeze all the fish? Uh, I guess we get lazy with our food. Sushi pizza. Yeah. I've never been to a Japanese restaurant where I can have a pizza sushi style. And a chef owner that's no longer in the kitchen. I'm nervous. Let's go with it. OK. Um, that's the sushi pizza. It sure is. It's rice, salmon, crab, and mayonnaise. Some cheese. Wow. Thank you, then. Japanese pizza. Sorry. That is rancid. You were right. That is an insult to pizza yeah, <laughs> and Japanese food. The chef had fair warning that it was going to be terrible. Mm. I told him not to get it. Where's the chef? The old sushi ko always stood for the finest in Japanese food. But today's disappointing lunch proved to Gordon that the only thing this sushi ko has in common with the former one is the name. Did you know there's a hair in the crab? No. No. No one told you? Hair? Are they wearing hats back here? You asking me? Yeah. I'm... <laughs> Are you guys wearing hats for service? Uh, no. Sir. Nothing at all? No. If you're telling them what to do, why can't they wear a hat? I don't so... know. Oh, Jesus. Let, let, let's go back to the beginning. When was the miso soup made? It was made yesterday. Yesterday. And just tell me, why would something like that taste salty? It's probably been sitting in there reducing overnight. Probably... What do you mean, reducing overnight? You keep stuff in the banbury overnight? Correct. What? The sushi pizza was a fucking joke. Right. OK. Hideous, disgusting, and an insult to Japanese culture, and an insult to a fucking pizza house. Wow, let's get some rain. You don't need me to come in here and tell you you look fucking stupid selling a sushi pizza that tastes like gunk. What were you doing serving frozen fish to me lunchtime? I would like to order proper fresh fish, and it doesn't actually happen. I've never known a Japanese restaurant to freeze so much stuff. I'm not here to make you look stupid, but I can smell bullshit. OK. Can you say something? Seriously. 
Talk to me. Talk to me. What do you mean to say? After getting very little out of Akira, Chef Ramsay decides to sit down with the owner's children, 22-year-old Sammy and 20-year-old Hana. Was it always a plan to have both of you so involved from day one? It was an idea for us to come help and when, give them a break if they needed to, but not to be here every weekend. I most of the time don't even want to be here because I'm here so much, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. I'm going to help out the family. So. Um, here's my worry, honestly. It's the level of shortcuts that are currently going on in this restaurant. Right. Has your father given up? Yeah, I think he definitely has on the inside, but he doesn't want to show it. Do you ever tell him to just stop, take stock, rethink? He doesn't really listen. Please don't get upset. I'm sorry. No, no, come on. I just, uh, yeah. I know, I know. I, I, it's I, hard for me to think I know, it's darling. I, I totally get it. I'm almost 21. I should be living my own life, but I can't. I have to help out with my family, and I can't leave them. You're both incredibly committed, and I you know, totally respect that level of loyalty. Uh, what I'm more nervous about than anything is the state of the business. Where do you see the business? Pretty much as far down as you can go. I've also recently, like in the past year, given money also. And is it mum that comes and asks? Or who? It was my dad that asked. So initially I gave $10,000, and then half a year ago he asked for $5,000. And I was like, of course, you know. How? Um, from working my photography, my own personal income. If your family's asking me for help, I would help them right away. I have probably given my parents above $20,000. Decent chunk of change for a 22-year-old, I think. There's a level of unfairness because you've both been dragged into this through no choice of your own. You've got my help. I'm supporting every one of you. My family is hanging by a thread. There's only so much I can do. In the short time that Gordon has been at Sushi Kel, he has not only learned that the restaurant is in shambles, but that this once tight-knit family is suffering badly. Hi, welcome to Sushi Girl. I'll take you back to your table. Enjoy your dinner, guys. What can I get for you? Spicy tuna, rice bread, I'm going to do sushi. OK. Bust it out, man. Why all these things got burns on them? You, you don't buy them by that, do you? Why are they burnt? We reuse them sometimes. You what? We wash them, clean them, and then use them again. I can't believe this is happening. I wash the stick and everything is clean. What's the program? Where's Lisa? I, uh, no, Kira, don't run away like a snake. OK. I've just scraped dried chicken off these. We're cutting oh. costs. There's bits of food on there. Do, do you think this is right? Um... Just feel how sticky that is on the end. That's food being wiped off it. It's 45 minutes into service, and Sushiko is doing what, unfortunately, it does best, disappointing its customers. It's a little scary. Okay, guys, if you don't like the tempura, just give it a try. It's coming back. It's doughy and that's not tempura broccoli. It's mushy, yeah. It's good. Stop the broccoli. Take it off. Yeah, don't even like do tempura yeah. anymore. Why cause more damage? Is that fry hot enough? Does it work properly? Um, fry temperature? I, actually, that's a great question. It doesn't look. It's hot enough. It's not blasting it. No. Uh, that's scary. That's a nightmare piece of equipment that probably isn't holding the temperature because it's getting old, just like me. <laughs> uh, Lisa, here, look at all this. Oh, the spicy mayo? So you don't keep mayonnaise in the fridge? Well, no, that's not required for refrigeration. What? That's I had. Refrigerate after opening. 
feel how warm that is. Maybe, yeah. Uh, and how long has that been staying outside for? It, truthfully. Always staying outside, spicy for, mayonnaise. For four years? Yes. This is a Japanese health hazard. This is about you running your restaurant properly. And you're not. Oh, my God. What's this fridge for? It's warm in here. And this fridge is on 50. Does this work in this fridge? Well, it broke down. When um, did it break down? A couple of months ago. I don't have the money to fix, so... So we've, we've got big containers of ice. Yes. To keep the ingredients cold. Well, just the vegetable we keep it here. Vegetable? We've got dairy, you've got oh, eggs here. That, that's a mistake. Never chicken beef here, look at me. Well, sometimes they make a mistake Why when we put it back. I'm not lying to you. I care. You could kill somebody. Bad food, a family in ruins, and unsanitary conditions. You could kill somebody. It's been quite a first day. And as dinner service ends, Thank you. Chef Ramsay realizes that Sushiko is in much worse shape than he thought. Right. How is that for you? I think our kitchen could have run a little smoother. I don't think you're taking it seriously enough. The rice, the soup, the fridge, the broccoli. Talk to me. I think that Akira, you know, could do a lot more. There's so many bad practices, and you don't seem to give a fuck. Have you given up? I think he's given up. How many of your customers would order kushiyaki if they knew they were eating it or feeling it off a wooden stick that had been used three weeks ago? None of them. It's almost like you're a man in denial. Anything to say or...? No, I should... He doesn't know how to fix it, though. He opened this place on the assumption that he was the delegator. He's lost. I think that the restaurants burnt him out. He thought that we were going to be living la vida loca. And when the business didn't go the way it was supposed to, he didn't know what to do. Obviously. But you don't really think that you're lazy, right? You think you work, do you think you work really hard all the time? I said, I think you should go cook. You go to wood cook anymore. That's the way Akira feels. If, if I can pay you to do it, why should I do it? But you're not really paying him. Your kids are paying him. He doesn't know how to get off of his little skinny ass and really getting to work. Right. And I want you, I, I, I need you to shut up for two minutes and I need you to talk. And this is part of the reason while you've lost your voice, not only is your wife wearing the trousers, but she's speaking for you. What is it? Talk to me. Oh. Come on. Talk to me. I just, uh, I don't know. Come on, Akira. Fuck me. Basically, I don't know what to do. I'm angry that Akira's lost his ability to communicate with people, and it was good to get it out. Akira, once a proud chef, has lost his way. And unfortunately, his family is being dragged down with him. Chef Ramsay knows that in order for this restaurant to have any chance of surviving, he must find a way to bring them together. day yesterday, uh, really tough. I'm outside the family home now, and it's clear that Akira is a broken man. And in order to get this restaurant fixed, I need the old Akira bag. So I can't do that without the family's help. I just wanted to talk to all three of you um, about Akira. He's a broken man, a man with uh, a tremendous weight on his shoulders. This is a man that is uh, not just on the edge. The whole family's involved in this. You can feel the divide just in terms of the friction that's built between you. Every day, every second. Take me back when you first met. Um, he was really funny and cute. <laughs> he had a lot of energy, and he used to think of goofy things to say, even though he didn't speak English very well. And 
He never smiles anymore, yeah. So sad, yeah, it's so sad. Dad's just kind of away from everybody, I think. He's removed now. He's not like a part of the family, really. It's just always just me and the kids, and he's just gone. He'll just like stand and just stare, because he doesn't know what to do. He's, he's lost. I miss like, when he was just smiling when I walked in the door. Yeah. We need to bring him back. If that Russian's got any chance of really seriously turning around, it can't be done without him. No, I know that. I agree. You can't do it without him. He's the heartbeat. I need each and every one of you to give him a, a lift in a way that his self-esteem rises, the confidence starts to shine, and more importantly, we start to get him back. That he's checked out. I can't remember the last time I saw him like actually happy, like waking up happy, going to bed happy. I wish he could come back and make it all right. Oh, hey, <laughs> Chef Lamsey. Where have you been on the lake? Oh, well, you know, I was Sit just down. taking a walk. I didn't know you know my house. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I, wanted, to, me here. I wanted to come and uh, see where it all started. There's a level of distance that we've grown apart. We need to narrow the gap. Sammy, you go first. What inspires you most about Dad? Working up from dishwasher to restaurant owner. He always, he's always one that tells me to get it right the first time. I learned all my hard work from him, so yeah. It's just tough, you know. Like yeah. I want to do as much as I can. It's just, it's just hard. I know I'm putting out the weight on you, so I gotta try harder. Okay? I will. You believe him? Thank you, Sammy. Honor, if there was one thing that you would want to say that you've never had the chance to do over the last four years, what would it be? I don't think I ever tell you how much I love you. Like, <laughs> I say I love you, but I never really express it. <laughs> I just want to see you happy. My family is really suffering. I want to try to be more emotionally supportive. We want to support you, mm -hmm. and we want to do everything we can. It would be a dream just to be our old selves again. Let's pretend that we we're starting out, and like, mm -hmm. let's try to find each other again and be friends. Mm -hmm. I feel really happy, but a little sad too, because I put my family in a bad situation here. Today, we are going to start it fresh. We wipe the slate clean. We start the day with a family hug. Group hug. Yes. <laughs> I feel way stronger. <laughs> I think, you know, I can do it this time. I can restart again. The emotional family meeting really touched Chef Ramsay, and he made arrangements to give Akira and the restaurant some much needed help. Hello. I decided that this family needs a little lift, a little leg up. I've never been into any Japanese restaurant and seen a fridge with a block of ice in there that broke down four months ago. So I made a few phone calls and managed to get hold of seven brand new counter Trollson refrigeration units. Trollson? Top of the line. Yeah, come around, have a look. Trollson? Come around, yeah, that's right. That's the best, yeah, you've best one you can get. Yeah, uh, trust me, number no one. No way. Come round. No way. Look, come round, Lisa. Open them up. He's smiling. Oh, my God. The fridges, to me, are amazing. They're beautiful. They're great. I can't believe it. But to see Akira's face when he heard out about it was the best, because that's the only time I've seen him smile in four years. I didn't stop there. Come with me. Yes. Have a look at two stunning Vulcan deep fat fryers. Oh, my god! So amazing. Yeah. The most amazing eight-ring gas burner. Look, we got the best now, stuff. And the most amazing walk-in <laughs> freezer. Temperature is visual. No more ice buckets? When I saw this kitchen, I thought it wasn't my kitchen. It looks like a showroom. Everything's brand new. It's like a 
dream. Now we have no excuses. Great. New equipment is just part of Chef Ramsay's plan. He knows there's another critical change that has to be made at Sushiko. It's an asset they should have taken advantage of a long time ago. Tonight, you're going to cook. OK. It's a comeback service. OK. OK. But I want you to grab it okay. and run with it. All right. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Can't wait to cook. Thanks. OK. Good. Akira, today he's going to help oversee tonight's launch of the sushi bar. OK? Please, welcome the man himself back. Good. Look at you! Good. Look at pocket rocket. Look at you! <laughs> Woohoo! Welcome back! Thank you. Yes! I feel good. Oh. See my dad in his chef suit it was really exciting. The sushi bar is where my dad belongs. It's where he started off, and he was a great chef before. And he's getting back in it, so that's great. OK, Lisa, open the door. Hello. Welcome to Sushi Cow. It's me too. For dinner service, not only will they be serving fresh fish, Chef Ramsay prepares with Akira two new salmon dishes that will be featured on tonight's menu. Hello, how are you tonight? Are you folks ready to order? I'll have the chicken salmon. We'll try the Sushi Cow Crunch. OK. So you got Sea Atlantic Salmon. I'm going to make that, OK? Oyako, OK? I'm so excited about being behind the counter. We have a lot of good fish today, so enjoy, OK? All right. I'm going to have a great time today. Two rainbow, chin and beach, and crunchy, please. I don't think she is taking it seriously. Even though we are starting to see a glimpse of the old Akira shining behind the sushi bar, All right, thanks for waiting. Chef Ramsay notices that his wife, Lisa, is not supporting him. Could you take this out for 205, please? I have some food for you guys right here. Excellent. I still don't think he's working very hard. We got two more specials, OK? OK, yeah. So let me know when you're ready. I'm going to pour the oil, OK? OK. Let Thanks for double checking on everything. Is he working hard? I don't think so. He's still just walking around. I'm worried that Akira's not going to ever be the chef that he should be. Take this and come back right away. I don't think he'll really follow through with it. All right. There's some share plates and soy dishes. Supposed to have avocado in it. Okay. And this is supposed to be a Hawaiian roll with the shrimp on top instead, but it's a California roll. That's a nightmare. Akira-san, the eel roll is supposed to have avocado inside, and that's Hawaiian sauce. Okay, all right. Uh, really pisses me off. Lisa's really tough with Akira. When she gets going, just get out of the way. It's like a tornado. Ashi. Yeah. Did you take this I'm, to 205? Three. That was my mistake. I didn't check. That's for Mala. Thank you. Oh, two, no, 205 oh, is me. Oh, 206, 206. So, I have to try harder. It's going to be a next order. Spider, tuna capacio, salmon special. Mara, how are you with avocado? Yeah. It's shrimp on the top. Thank, Thank you. you. And the roll. I'm so glad to have Akira back behind the bar. It makes everything go so much smoother. OK, Scott. Done, 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 right. done, done. This is incredible. With Akira standing behind the bar, dressed as a chef, running his restaurant, already there's a completely different feel to last night's service. Oh, sesame oil. Kind of cooks on that dish. So enjoy, OK? That was really good. Very good. That's definitely the best sushi Watching my dad work in the kitchen and smiling almost the whole time, it was just a great feeling. Thank you very much. Thank you. Night. Everything's getting better. As dinner service comes to an end, it's clear that Sushiko has a long way to go. But the new equipment, Akira's new attitude, and a couple of new dishes have Chef Ramsay feeling better about its chances. First of all, let me be really blunt uh, with you, yeah, and something you, 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 you need to hear. OK. Yeah. Honestly? Yes. Tonight, you are a different man. Thank you. The change is night and day. I feel like I woke up. Not only did you look good, but you seemed to look like you were enjoying what you were doing. I've got total respect for you today. Yeah? Appreciate it. Good job. Right. I need a quick chat with your wife. I can't forget anything Chef Ramsey taught me. I have a hope, but I know I have to really, really work harder. Now, he may have changed, 
but unfortunately, you haven't. The difference in that man in 24 hours is night and day. And not once tonight did you mention anything to him. And you can't be that fucking cold. That would be like a block of ice. He's not your head chef. He's your husband. Yeah. And here's the thing. You're tough. You've been through a lot, and over the last four or five years, you've become stronger than he has. Coming from the outside in, it's so evident. You're fucking bang, bang, bang. Back off. I'm not fucking around. I'm not going to take all the blame, but I agree that I am a bitch to Akira, and I'm, I agree that it's not a good way to be. I think between you and I, that man needs you more than ever before. Oh, totally, yeah. What you need to do is cut him some slack. Not just for him, but for the family's sake. Before it's too late. After Chef Ramsay's conversation with Lisa, that man needs you more than ever before. And with Akira's commitment to change, I feel like I woke up. Gordon and his team went ahead with a much needed makeover of Sushi Co. Chef Ramsay! Good morning. Look at you two holding hands and cuddling as well. <laughs> Chef Ramsay pleaded with me to embrace Akira and try to give him the support he needs. So, this is a really crucial point in our lives. It's like being reborn again. OK, today we're relaunching the new Sushi Co. So we have to bring Sushi Co into the modern era. And the decor has to stand out as something not just cutting edge, but fresh with a wonderful appeal. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah? My hands go. are sweating. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come in. Look at that. Contemporary, and it's got that really fresh appeal to it. Oh, my god. I'm like shaking. Goodbye, Samurai Warrior. The minute you step in this door, great colors, it's fresh and Whoa. modern. All that nice. It's stunning. I felt like, you know, what? This is my restaurant? What is this? You know? It's just um, amazing. Oh, my god! <laughs> when I first arrived, it was like sitting inside a prison. Now it's beautiful. Look at the color. Dark, moody red. That's my picture. Oh. You have a serious artist in the family, but no one's ever, oh. ever shown him off. They're cool, they're sophisticated. Lisa, are you happy? I'm so happy. It's just amazing. The color is just perfect. Goodbye, goodbye. It's sexy. Come over here. I can't go in the middle. Woo! Everybody wants to go. Chef Ramsay is bringing us together as a family. Yes, let's go. My parents are, like, more happy than I've seen them in forever. It's awesome. He's a new man. After revamping Sushi Co into a stylish contemporary Japanese restaurant, Chef Ramsay moves on to the menu. Welcome to the new food. Whoa. Walk down, have a look. By modernizing the traditional sushi dishes. Albacore tartar with avocado, crispy salmon cake, sea tuna with a salsa, uh, Japanese style curried mussels, teriyaki chicken, the roll, we've got the fire roll, clean, modern, great execution. OK, so we're going to have a great start today, all right? Word of the relaunch has spread through the community, and Chef Ramsay has surprised the owners with traditional taiko drummers to officially kick off the evening. for coming. Thank you. The official welcoming and the opening of this restaurant. Excellent. My heart was pounding like a, you know, drum. It's so exciting. Brand new restaurant, brand new me. Hello, welcome to Sushi Co. Can we have the Super Dragon Roll? Can we have the Sushi Co crunch? Sure. As the first orders make their way into the kitchen, you make sure to back him up. Okay. An energized Akira pumps up the cooks for the big night. Help each other, talk to each other, okay? Sure. 
All right. First one of the night. Sushi Co Crunch, bust one out. Let us cut two more. Sammy 214, Sushi Co Crunch. Let us wrap that in the window. OK, give it to me. I need uh, one more Atlantic salmon here. 209, could you drop this off? 209. The yellowtail roll. Akira, at his rightful place in the kitchen, pushes the first orders out. Oh my gosh, that's really good. <laughs> and customers are satisfied with what the new Sushi Co has to offer. Beef is very good. But soon after, old habits return, and Akira is doing everything except what he needs to do most, cook. This is our new special. Please enjoy. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. I've been waiting for a special for a half an hour. Lisa, the food's hanging around too long on the window. OK. Without a leader, the kitchen is falling behind. It's dying in the window. And the impact is starting to be felt in the dining room. 209 only has one ticket here. No. There's another ticket? There's more tickets there. Oh, yeah. Earlier tonight, Akira was doing really well behind the sushi bar, but now he's falling back into his old ways already. He's out bussing tables, and he's not paying attention to what's happening. We need him to be back behind the bar again. What are you doing carrying that thing? Well, they needed the help, so I just... They need the help. All right. Honestly, I'm worried. You went back to your old ways. You didn't cook anything. You bus tables, you serve food, you delegate it. Why weren't you cooking? Why weren't you... Can you not do it? No, I can do it. You're not a fucking manager. You're not a bus boy. You're the I... chef. Come on. Finally, towards the end of dinner service, Akira took Chef Ramsay's advice. OK. And jumped back into cooking in the kitchen. Do that. Yeah, thank you. But for the most part, it was his staff who pulled together and made tonight's relaunch a success. Thank you. The good news about tonight is the customers love the food. Oh, yeah. Yes? Well, yeah. Oh, this restaurant took a huge leap forward. Oh, yeah. In terms oh, yeah. of spreading the message out there. But I just want to know what you're going to do. What's going to happen when I'm gone? I will remember what every, everything you told me. You are a talented man. You've just forgotten how talented you are. What are you talented for? Picking up fucking plates? No. Why are you a talented man? Cooking. That's right. So if you're going to dress it the part, look the part, cook your socks off. Got it. I'm not going to go leave the section, not going to pass the table, or not going to do that. If I catch your skinny little ass that side of the table, I swear to God. But Lisa, you've got to support each other. I came in, I first arrived, the, the whole family, not just the restaurant, was just fragmented. Four different individuals seeking different ambitions with different attitudes, and no one's singing off the same page. But there's a reconnect that's taken place. There's a level of clarity, proper understanding, and we all know what we've got to do. They'll be OK. You know, we're tight army here now. So we will, Please. Help, we will help each other. Having Chef Ramsay come into our lives is, it's meant the world. Yeah, we have a start over, and I'm nervous as shit that it's not going to go smoothly, and I'm just am thankful for this new chance. Take care. Thank you. Yes. Good night. Thank you so much. Hey, Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. All right, give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> I never hug in Japan. He's going to pick you up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Bye. It was really cool to see my parents give each other kisses and stuff. I haven't seen that in a while. Cool bug. Working with each other and supporting each other, it's going to give us more hope than we had before. What a week. We made a lot of changes. We changed the equipment, we changed the menu, and we changed the decor. But what this family failed to realize is that their greatest asset was something I could never have given them, because it was themselves. And it's that that will make this place successful. Whew, what a week. Sayonara, a thousand O's. In the days that followed, Sushi Ko saw a boost in business, and Lisa and Akira were working as a team once again. All right, let's clean up the place. Yeah, let's clean the space up here. Recently, they decided that in order to maximize profits, they would search out a new location where the rents weren't as high. You have anything, anything special, give me a call. 
regardless of the location, the most valuable lesson this family may have learned was not how to run their business, but how to appreciate each other.